and we are back between two yachts here on day two of Mets 2017. Yeah. Um, with Sarah Flavel or Sarah Cohen's. Hi there, I'm both. Today she's Sarah Flavel. Yeah. How are you doing? Hi. So we just interviewed John Freeman. Um, who's I realised on camera I actually went to school with and I actually went to school with you too. Yes, that's right. Many years back now. So although everyone says it's a very small world and it's a very small industry, it couldn't be more so than this, could it? No, I think that's one tiny village back in uh, Leicestershire where there's several of us <laughs> in the industry. Yeah, and we managed to get out. Exactly. We fought our way out and we're out. Like so. <laughs> How did you get into the marine industry? So I think back in 2003, I was working at a water ski centre in the West Midlands. And I went to, not Bosworth Water Park, West Midlands Water Ski Centre, it's just outside of Tamworth. And I was working um, at London Boat Show for 10 days, one very cold January, for Ski Nautique because they supplied the boats for the water ski school. And during the show, actually, and this brings back the Burbage connection, I uh, went sorry, out... Your, your Burbage. Yeah. I went out for drinks with David Freeman and Guy Duncan at the time. And we, after a few drinks, they challenged me to get them into one of the Super Yacht Design Award parties. And they sort of said, if you can get us into this party, we'll give you a job. And I was like, I've got a job. And they're like, no, come on, you want to work in the super industry. This is the best place to work. So we did it. We went for the challenge and we got into the design awards dinner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't I even know how. Ended without up going, paying. without paying, ended up going oh, no. for dinner with Don Starkey and his wife at the time as well. Yeah, it started there. And within a few weeks, they stuck to their word. And a few months later, I started working at Savage Lighting. The only reason I left Savage was because I moved to the Netherlands to uh, yeah, to live with Michelle, so my husband, who I met at Monaco Yacht Show. Okay. Yeah, not a girl. Not a girl. So That's Michelle what my grandma was... also thought at the time when I said I'd met someone called Michelle. So now you're in Holland. Yes. Married kids. Married kids. Still in the industry. But you've got out of lighting. Out of lighting, so out of lighting, I went into AV and IT. Okay. And I worked for an integrator for another couple Which of one? years, Harris Grant. Oh yeah. And they're after still going? they're still going, and after a couple of years, I actually decided I wanted to do what I've been doing for them, but for myself. So doing business development, marketing, and I set up on my own. And now I just have a number of different companies. Still, Savage is one of them. And I help them with their marketing. Yacht Cloud's the other. So. They create um, technology products aimed at improving life on board. So their main product is Omnion, which is a um, media and control platform similar to Collidescape. So an audio video on demand system. And then they have a number of other products which are based on crew. Board. So Laundry Board is a program that helps crew, so interior staff, manage and handle the laundry loads. It makes them accountable. You have a way of tracking all your laundry on board. So on the big vessels where you have multiple cabins, multiple guests, various trips, they can track everything, log everything, record notes. So um, a stewardess can pull up and there'll be fabric notes for that particular product, um, care handling instructions. If there's been a stain, you can photograph it. Get replacement. Get replacement. Know where it should be. Exactly. Make sure it gets returned to the right cabin. Sure, it's on time. Like an RFI tag, so. No, it's purely so everything is logged via the system, and then it's tracked through an iPad program. But you don't physically tag any items. Of, so no need for tagging. Yeah, you know what it is. It saves time. It saves money. It, from a management point of view, there's tracking and accountability. And from a crew perspective, it makes your life easier. Yeah. And especially when you've got large boats and you've got rotation or you're swapping ships, instead of having to communicate everything there and then and forgetting to pass information yeah. over, everything is there. It's completely, you know, David Gates? Yep. So he's trash bags. Talking rubbish. Talking shit, yeah. Um, he said one of the big problems that they have on a boat is binges. Yep. And they use the tenders to ferry the trash back and forth and the tenders get trashed. 
never would have thought of that. It's one of those things that you never would really think is a problem. But now there's a solution. So as you know, my sister was a chef on board for a long time. Um, okay, what's she doing? So she has her own company, Signature Stewardess, doing onboard you know, services from ashore for stewardesses. So she's land based. Yeah, so she's land based. But she's gone out of she also got out of England. But one of the oh. things she, I always remember her saying is with any cocktail stick skewers, not in the bin, straight like that. They have to either go inside something else because bin bag gets pricked, bin juice, there goes your tender. Wow. Imaginative mind has come up with solutions, but so what else do you do with the Yacht Cloud and Savage? Yacht Cloud and Savage? Else? Luxury Hospitality Group. They do crew training for um, interior crew, so everything learning on the staff need to know to provide a seven star experience. From learning how to make the very best cocktail to silver service to how to manage the linen, how to, everything everything you need to do with the interior. Ah, uh, Different. Yeah, all right. And the next one? Different companies, yeah. Um, other stuff that I do, I do a lot of translation work for companies okay. in the industry from Dutch to English. So, but on a very different level, customers like Whisper Power. So they do the power storage and generators and power solutions. DMS Holland who do stabilizers, so rotor stabilization systems, fin bay systems. Hmm. One thing we like doing on the show yep. um, is your best story. Oh no. From the industry. Everyone's got uh, don't mention names. No, no, no I don't names. think I dare mention I don't think I would dare mention names. What are you got? Probably actually got too many. That's <laughs> I've got a I've got a I've got to think through this as to is it allowed to be scandalous or does it need Absolutely to be scandalous. That's more scandalous than that. Okay. I'm gonna say it involved Fort Lauderdale boat show. Okay. And it involved um, myself and a colleague, I'm not gonna name names, but I think most people will guess who it was being taken out to a club by somebody who decided that the other person was far too scandalous and could indulge in this place and I was told I was too naive and needed my eyes opening and so was presented in a private room with two girls dancing to open my eyes to society at that time. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much. It's very nice to see you again. Thank you. It's on our European tour.